shaking the financial landscape of millions. Recent changes to universal credit and child tax credit are redefining the dynamics of financial aid in the UK and the US. In a striking move, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced a significant alteration to the universal credit system. This change, affecting nearly 200,000 people, has seen a rise in the administrative earnings threshold for individuals and couples. Now, recipients will need to put in more working hours to retain their eligibility for benefits. This shift has the potential to impact those with irregular incomes and those burdened with caregiving responsibilities. Failure to meet claimant commitments could lead to cuts or even complete stoppage of payments. Critics argue that these changes could push vulnerable individuals into a financial crisis. Meanwhile, across the pond, the child tax credit system is also under scrutiny. GOP Senator Chuck Grassley has proposed a measure to adjust the child tax credit to be pegged to inflation, ensuring it pays out more during periods of rising prices. Currently, the credit issues $2,000 per child under 17. But Grassley's proposal aims to make the credit more reflective of economic changes. However, this proposal contrasts sharply with a temporary pandemic-era democratic program from 2021, which provided a near-universal monthly cash benefit to families. Resistance from Republicans and Senator Joe Manchin prevented the renewal of this program in the Build Back Better bill. Senator Joe Manchin is also pushing to impose a work requirement on President Biden's child tax credit, arguing that only families who are working and filing taxes should receive federal aid. This has sparked a debate as the credit providing monthly benefits to families with children has been lauded for assisting millions of kids and families. To summarize, the universal credit system in the UK now requires recipients to work more hours to remain eligible. This change has been criticized for potentially pushing vulnerable individuals into financial crisis. Meanwhile, in the US, discussions about overhauling the child tax credit are ongoing. Proposals to peg the credit to inflation are being considered, as are measures to impose work requirements on recipients. These changes underscore the evolving nature of financial aid systems globally as governments grapple with balancing economic realities with the needs of their citizens. As these discussions continue, the implications for those who rely on these benefits will be closely watched. Stay tuned for further updates on these significant changes to universal credit and child tax credit and their potential impacts on households in the UK and the US.